I like dancing. I think dancing just feels so good. It's a lost art. People don't dance anymore, you know? We dance alone all the time. If there were cameras in our house, dude, uh, shut up. We'd be f Hi, I'm Jaden, and today I'm getting the interview I really deserve because I'm interviewing myself. I'm giving myself the only intimate interview I can give myself, so here we go. Do we have a nickname that nobody's heard of? No, I don't. I've wanted a nickname my entire life. You know this. I, I've wanted one and I'm like, try different. Even when I was coming up with my artist name, I was like, this is my moment to make something cool. And I honestly, like the JXD and was like a last minute decision. And, uh, I don't have one, but my mom calls me Bo. I think that might be a cute nickname. <laughs> like when I was like a kid, you know. She's like, Bo, come here. <laughs> we love mom. Uh, we'll let them know. How did we, how do we land on Jaden, like JXD? Well, you know, we were just having a hard time one day with uh, the names, and I wanted to be Jax. We wanted to be Jax, remember J-A-X, exclamation point. And apparently there was already a Jax, and so I was really sad. And She's uh, fire. I just was like, F it. it doesn't mean anything. Let's just put an X in our name. And you were like, cool. Okay, fill in the blank right now. Uh, we hate what? We hate Arrowhead water <laughs> and liars. Facts. I don't think we hate anything, dude. I think we hate people that hate people. People that think they're like too cool for like other people. I think that's what we hate. You were killing it until you brought in our situation. Let's just keep it on everyone else. Okay, what's the last dream we remember having? Cause I don't really remember. Dude, we don't dream. You know we don't dream. I haven't dreamt in a minute. It's been a long time. I don't know if that's something wrong with me or maybe that just happens to people. But uh, the last like visual dream I can remember um, was uh, I was watching the Woodstock documentary that the just came out on Netflix and I saw Korn playing live like in that little bit where everyone this is like the craziest and I remember sleeping that night and I can't remember but it was just like me on stage in front of all 300,000 people that were there so I think that's my most recent dream to perform in front of like 300 400,000 people okay buddy cool dream uh, you'll like this one how do we feel about guys wearing nail polish? First off, here's the thing. I think that you can do anything now as long as you think it's cool. If you don't think it's cool, don't do it. If you don't think painting your nails is cool, then don't do it. A couple, like three or four years ago, I started painting my nails like in high school and like no one thought it was cool. And so I thought it was cool because other people hated it. Um, and then I went through a phase where I didn't paint my nails at all. So I'd say if you want to do something, do it. If you want to paint your nails, paint your nails. Especially if people don't want you to. I liked how you ended that after you said cool 17 times. But yeah, do what you want, guys. I agree with that. So what's the kindest thing a stranger's done for us? Something that like really like touched my heart. Me and my manager um, were sitting with Kyle's whole team in Paraguay, South America, right? You remember. And the flood was going crazy. And uh, we were just chilling, um, waiting for something to happen. Uh, I went up to Kyle's manager, and we were talking. His name's Dre. And I was like, man, I'm just so glad to be here. You know, like you guys really gave me um, like this life. You know, you gave me this opportunity, man. And he was like, nah, man, you did that for yourself. We just love you. And I was like, wow. Because the reality is Kels, Travis, that whole team, like everyone associated with the family, my management has literally given me everything. Gave us everything, dude. Like we went to South America with them. He brought us out at MSG. We did a whole ticket, his ticket tour. And so for them just to tell me that they didn't do anything for us and that they just loved us, man, come on. Yeah, those guys are awesome. I, I, we really got lucky with them, 100%. And they do give us everything. And uh, they make us look really weird. Because like, they're so cool looking that we don't really fit in. We look like that one like outcast every time we go places and people take notice. But it's cool, we'll get there. What's our go-to shower song these days? Right now it's Elvis Presley, dude. Come on. Well, ain't nothing, mama, ain't nothing you. That's all right, mama, just any way you do, that's all right. Bro, Elvis Presley is hard as f If you haven't seen the movie, we've seen it like five times. You should go watch it. I know you don't like it, but if no one could like judge you, like I do every day, uh, what would you get from Starbucks? No one was watching. Ah, I stopped liking Starbucks a long time ago, dude. I know you still like Starbucks, but I don't like it. I like black coffee recently. I feel like that, but people also would judge me when I get black coffee. You know, yeah, so probably just black coffee, like a nice pike roast. Uh, hot or cold? Hot, yeah, hot. Ice, people who drink iced black coffee, that's scary, dude. No. 
I don't know what you're doing. What do you do after you finish that drink? Tell me. If we weren't doing music, what would we be doing right now? We love sports. People don't really know that a lot. I miss basketball so much, dude. I played basketball all throughout high school. Um, but if I wasn't doing music, I don't know. I think, like, art. I'm just trying to start my portfolio again. Um, fashion, for sure. We're really obsessed with, like, just clothes in general. Hopefully, whatever I'm doing is making somebody's life better, you know? Or worse, because <laughs> it's one of the two. Yeah, you make my life worse every day, so it's definitely one of the two. So we have a lot of tattoos, um, as we know. Is there one that you regret, or that you hate, or that you feel silly about? Definitely, it's funny. I, I don't know, it's funny. I, sometimes I'm like, I hate it, and sometimes I'm like, I'm glad I have it, but I was in this mode, man, oh, we're just gonna get a bun bunch of ignorant tattoos, like, it doesn't have to mean anything. And so I got this, we got this uh, Mona Lisa with the rocket launcher. And um, I got it and I was super, super hyped. And then I remember you looked at me and you were like, yo, that's kind of weird. And so now I feel indifferent about it. I wish I could like change it. But at the end of the day, I have a bunch of like random tattoos, dude. Stop judging me for it, okay? Uh, what thing in the world, dude, that makes us like crazy, wildly happy? You know, just like something random that makes us happy. I like dancing. I think dancing just, feels so good. It's a lost art. People don't dance anymore, you know? Especially like at places they should dance, like clubs. <laughs> it's like the last place anyone dances. And you see a bunch of people dancing, like what's better than that? You know what I mean? No words are needed. We dance alone all the time. If there were cameras in our house, dude, no, shut up. We'd be f <laughs> Imagine that, if people thought we were weird. Yeah, imagine, dude. Imagine people thought we were weird. Where's uh, our favorite place to perform? There, there's a lot. Damn. There's so many cool places. You know, there's so many cool places. I've been to like, in the past year I did almost, we did almost 100 shows, which is wild. We performed in almost in front of like a m million people. It's really hard to choose. There have been so many cool moments, but my third show, Lollapalooza, really changed like my perspective on everything. Like, do you remember we were like, it was crazy. It was my, our third show, and uh, we just did an after show the, the night before, and uh, my voice was gone and you were like super nervous about Hulu streaming the thing, so we told Hulu to stop streaming, and I went out there, and we didn't think like anybody was gonna be there, and 35,000 people were at my stage, and they all knew our lyrics, and nope, those were paid actors. It was all fake, just to make you feel better. That night I cried, because it was my third show, and I was like, this makes no sense. Like, how is this happening for me right now? I, I cried, I didn't know what to do. Like, that's some unreal that you, like, I dreamed of that my whole life, and like, it happened. Since I cried that night, I think that one was definitely our most impactful, my, our favorite one. Can you describe more on that? Like, how does it feel to perform? Like, the feeling you get on stage. Taking it back to your last question, I think that's one of the things that makes me the happiest, is uh, like, performing. So that's the first thing I feel, is like joy, like pure joy. I feel, um, and when I step on stage, dude, we feel, it's like, like how we are right now, it's like just one, you know, we finally become one. There's peace in my mind. I get to make people's life a little easier for a couple hours and that's the best thing that I could ever do. That was like the best thing you've said so far. That was a good answer, I with that. So if Netflix made a documentary about us, what would it be about and what would it be called? Oh, f I think like <laughs> that's the name or Oh man, I don't know, I've, I've already thought about this. I, in the last year, dude, we could make 10 movies out of this that's happened to us. But um, I'd say that it would be called Everywhere Leads to Somewhere. Cause man, look at our life. How'd we get here? Oh sh oh sh That's actually really good. <laughs> what do we want to tell our fans, man? Like what's the last thing we want to end this interview on? You mother are my favorite people in the world, dude. Like genuinely, my fans got my back no matter what, like in person, like y'all pull up like heavy every time. It, I got like like lifelong like fans. Like it's not just people that are like, oh, I fucking, like these people are like traveling to nine, 10 shows on our tour, dude. Like that's wild, you guys are sick. And everybody that just, just gave me a chance, thank you. You know what I mean? I'm only here to make, give you a couple minutes of like relief, you know, if I can through through one song or however many songs you with. So if you if you give me that opportunity, I appreciate you. And you're a fan to me, so thank you. Wow dude, those were some those were some good answers. Thanks for being here. Yeah, you're welcome. It was it was really good. You look good today too. I think 
you spoke very eloquently. You know, ask great questions. Thanks for watching me interview me. Go check out our new single, Sober, right now, and let us know how you feel about it.